is a good horror film about the devil and or demons. I Trap the Devil Matt and Karen visit Matt's brother Steve as they are concerned for him during the holiday. They arrive to his house that is covered in black and giving off a very eerie, disturbing presence. Inside, Steve has been bombarded with visions of his dead wife through the television, as well as receiving disturbing phone calls from an unknown caller. Matt and Karen, when asking Steve about all of this, are shown a padlocked door in the basement with a giant cross on it. Behind the door, they hear a man's voice begging for help, which Steve prevents them or anyone from doing. Behind the door, Steve claims to have trapped the devil. As you could probably guess, there are tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of horror films that have to do with the devil in the but the reason I chose this one is because it's loosely based off of one of my favorite episodes of The Twilight Zone, The Howling Man. It executes it in a practical, modern context, and I really enjoyed it. Josh Lobo wrote, directed, and produced this movie, and he does a fantastic job with this. He's a relative unknown, as well as most of the cast are, but they shine in this movie. This is one of those movies that really flew under the surface. It's kind of a shame that it has because I could just see this movie being up there with a lot of other psychological films, movies that just get under your skin and you're trying to figure out piece by piece what's going on. What it lacks in gore and disturbingness, it makes up more than enough intention. You're not sure, is what's happening really the devil? Is it all in the main character's head? Is it him battling his own grief? Is it just a misunderstanding? You're not really quite sure until the very end. And that's what keeps you engaged throughout the whole movie. I also really enjoy it because it goes back to that old thing of what you don't see is more terrifying than what you do see. It follows that pretty damn well. And that's one of the reasons I enjoy it so well. It portrays the devil not as this over the top bombastic flame ridden horned monster. It makes it subtle, and textual, and uneasy, and you're not sure is it the devil. You're not sure what's going on. And that's what makes it so good. Stay tuned tomorrow to see our advent of horror in this year's Jack-O-Ween.